All right, so you know what? I already made this, but I'm gonna do it again because I need to show you guys because this is pretty awesome. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are gonna move this plane to a different layer. And what do I have on this layer? Um, you know what? We're just gonna move it to a different layer. Let's move to that layer. All right. Now let's rotate it on x 90 degrees. Let's add a loop. Grab these guys. Scale along x 90 degrees. W. Remove double. Scale along z. Make it a bit bigger. Press A to select them all. Extrude along y. You didn't actually need to press that button, but whatever. And you know what? You can press F to get rid of that uh, triangle, but uh, I kind of want that triangle today. Um, so delete that face. Um, you usually don't want triangles, but I'm just going to use them for this demonstration because there's something cool that I want to show you. Okay? Uh, add a modifier. We need to also add a curve. We need to add a circle. We need to fit curve and curve circle point one is the circle. Yeah. Okay. Now we need to. For some reason that just doesn't look right. We need to fit curve. Curve circle one. No, this isn't right. Okay, we need a different circle. Okay, maybe that's just some bug that I don't know about. Um, yeah, that's curve a one. Maybe if we scale this. This never happened before. Seriously. Whenever, whenever this happens, there seems to be a problem. Okay. Well, let's just start over. Let's just add a plane. Rotate along Y. Rotate along X 90 degrees. Yeah, this is going to be great. This is going to work. Let's see if I can do this faster this time. Uh, extrude scale. Mm, scale them maybe a bit too much. Okay. All right. Now, this is going to work. Add array. Fit curve. Curve circle. Okay. It's good. Um. You know what? We need to merge. Okay. Um, add a curve modifier. That is perfect. Now we need to scale this thing up. And this will work perfectly. Hopefully. Hopefully it will work for you guys. Okay. Seems about a good number. Okay, now we need to add a empty. Don't scale it, don't grab it, don't move it, don't rotate it yet, just leave it there. Add another array. Um, we don't want it on X at all, we want it 0.5 on the Y axis, and we need to rotate it along the Z until we have that on and it will be empty um, point three but yours should be much more organized and then now we will rotate it um, uh, what am I doing I'm pressing shift to move it very slowly. 
Okay, merge. Uh, perfect. Uh, okay, now we need to add edge split. That means we have to remove shading to smooth and it makes it nice. See how we got all those bad creases in there? We just put that smooth, it gets rid of them. And if we don't have this, then that's what it looks like. Alright, so now we'll go back into this array and we can figure out how many of these we want. Um, I'm thinking that's a good number. Okay? Um, you know, maybe a bit more. It's probably good. Now, apply that array, apply that array, and apply this array. Leave that um, array. Or, no, that's an edge split. Um, remove doubles. Um, it seemed like it removed a lot of doubles. Uh, we should have had... Uh, you know what? Let's go back. So we have all those. Um, you know, okay, whatever. Um, okay. We didn't need to do that, but we did it. Um, Alright. <laughs> so we had a lot of doubles there, so it's usually not that good when we have a whole bunch of doubles. Uh, select all these and we need to delete those vertices. Okay, let's grab that. Shift G, select similar length. And I had so many problems with this before. Let's see if I can just get it right the first time. Um, uh. Okay, you know what? This will work. I think. As long as we have all these top ones selected, then it's good. Um. All right. Okay. So, I just got an amazing idea. We need to be middle mouse button, then click and drag, and then. Um, yeah, um, make sure that's, that's disabled. Um, I hope that's good because it's going to have to do. Alright. Okay, now let's. B to extrude along X and turn auto merge editing off. Scale, okay. We need to extrude again because we didn't move it, right? So it merged them automatically. So let's scale along Z and then move them out. And hopefully it worked. Alright, now. Let's just leave that bottom one and, you know, just let it be. Okay? W, um, I meant to press smooth there, but, um, I don't know if that removed any doubles, but that's, that's fine. Okay. Scale it in a bit. Um, E to extrude along Z. Scale in a lot. Okay. Add a ring or a loop cut, whatever you like to call it. Uh, really doesn't matter to me what you call it. I'm just trying to make it nice and smooth here. All right. Um, just select all these. Extrude, uh, scale in, and then merge at center okay so we got all these guys and now apparently it's a ring but before that's that's not a ring 
but now it is, okay? <laughs> I don't know why. Um, okay, extrude, scale in, and just extrude along Z. And shift plus, scale along shift Z. So let's go a bit more. Okay. Um, smooth. Let's see if we can't smooth this a bit more. So I think we can. Move it a bit closer in, and then we can skip. Let's grab this one bit and scale it up, scale on, and then shift so it moves it very uh, slowly. And uh, th that's as good as it's gonna get, so. I'm happy with it. Now let's just move this to that layer. Okay, and it's freaking ginormous because uh, we didn't scale it down and we didn't really know. So let's keep moving this over. According to that, that's right scaling so we will use that and move that over there all right so um, this is looking good and we have a whole bunch more faces now because of that so all right um,